Let's talk about the Carolina Panthers. This team is currently 0-2, and this is not a they should fire Frank Reich video. This is not that type of video. I am concerned about their offense, and I'm concerned about the play calling of Frank Reich. In the last two games, this team has scored 10 points against the Atlanta Falcons. That was opening day. I understand you have a lot of things that aren't going on right now. You have a very young team. But that's a division opponent that you just lost the game to. They come out against New Orleans Saints completely flat. They lose the game 17-20, to 20, and they shouldn't have lost this game. They should have beat the New Orleans Saints. Their defense gave them multiple opportunities to go out there and win the game. And their special teams did as well. But they keep flaming out in the red zone, and that's if they can make it to the red zone. Turnovers are killing this team. In week one, Bryce Young had the two interceptions that hurt this team. And in week two, he had a fumble that hurt this team as well. But it's also the play calling from Frank Reich. He is not letting Bryce Young air the ball out when you look at Bryce Young's numbers on the stat sheet he's only throwing for 4.3 yards a throw that's it that's the third fewest in the NFL that's a problem and it's not the fact that the offensive line can hold up long enough the offensive line is beat up they're hurt no Austin Corbett you expected this to happen so they struggled to protect Bryce Young they struggled in week one and they struggled immensely in week two he got sacked four times against the New Orleans Saints. Another reason why he's getting sacked so much because wide receivers aren't getting open. And part of the reason to why wide receivers aren't getting open, it is a talent issue, but it's also another issue that Frank Reich isn't coming up with better play calls. You have to be creative. Now, later in the game, in the fourth quarter, when they scored their last touchdown, they went for a two-point conversion, they did look good on that drive. But the Saints are playing shell coverage, and they're basically saying, you can have whatever you want. When we get the ball back, we're going to run it, and we're going to take knees. That's what happened. And it seemed like they had more urgency then. I think you need to come out and more and run more, no huddle, and put Bryce Young in a better situation. Get defenses away from the line of scrimmage. For one, now teams don't fear your wide receiving game. They don't fear your pass game. That's bad. And it's hurting your run game because when these guys can crowd the line of scrimmage, they can hold up, stack the box, say, hey, you know what? We're going to take the run game away. It's hurting Miles Sanders as well, who's a very good running back, but he can't do much right now because the offense line can't create enough space for him. And the offense line can't create enough space because safeties are starting to creep down the field. Look at what Jesse Bates did in week one against this team. He was in the box. So Those two interceptions they got, he's practically in the box. Crouching down on wide receivers. The curl concepts don't work. The slant concepts don't work either. Every route is between five to eight yards, not even within 10 yards. I can understand you want to just get the ball out quick, make defenses come up, then you'll take a deep shot. That could work in certain situations. And for certain teams, it does work to where you say, hey, so you, as soon as you snap the ball, it's a quick hike, you throw the ball out, you get to your playmakers. You can't keep doing this for an entire game. It was too many times in the New Orleans Saints game, Bryce Young snaps the ball, get the ball out quick. You're only throwing the ball three to four yards, and that's it. Now teams just come down and just gang tackle you. That's pretty much it. I could see if he was calling more screens to get guys open, and when he did call screens, it didn't work because guys are crowding around the line of scrimmage. You don't have to go out and call 30 to 40 yard deep bombs every single player every single drive I don't expect NFL teams to do so unless you're the Miami Dolphins and you have Jalen Wallow and Tyreek Hill they have DJ Chark he's not the best wide receiver in the league he's far from it but we saw the impact that he had against the New Orleans Saints it was a holding penalty that got them closer in the red zone have him run as a decoy to open up things for guys like Adam Thielen Adam Thielen is still a very good wide receiver He's not fast at all. He has no speed, but he can separate. He has good route running abilities. So do something to where you can have DJ Chart take over the top of the field and put Adam Thielen on a corner route or have him go on a dig to where he's going to be open because the safety can't just 100% focus in on Adam Thielen. They're going to have to focus in on DJ Chart and do the same with LaFisca Chenault. Those guys can scratch the field while guys like Hayden Hurst and Adam Thielen can be safety blankets for Bryce Young. We saw Hayden Hurst be the leading wide receiver in week one against the Atlanta Falcons, even though it was a bunch of check down routes. He's a good tight end. And now I'm it's the safety blanket right now. It's a wide receiver. They do, they're struggling with a talent issue. But I go back to last season. Marshall Jr., been, he's been a no-show in these last two games. He was very good for the last couple games of last season. Get him involved. He's another guy that can go down the field and run some deep routes. That's pretty much his forte. Go down there, take the top off the defense. 
So you don't have to connect on these 30 to 40 yard passes down the field for it to be effective. You can just call a defense's bluff. So if a safety is coming down and those guys can beat one-on-one -on -one coverage, then you can get a good idea of what you can do. Then you can make those guys pay. Just make the defense fear the deep pass game. That's all you have to do. It will open up everything else with Bryce Young. It will open up so many other things for this team. And it will open up the running game as well. Then you can run that RPO system similar to what the Eagles did when Frank Reich was on that staff. They just they didn't just come out and just run RPOs the entire game. They had Alshon Jeffrey as a guy that was a fear of a wide receiver because he wasn't the fastest, but he was a guy that can get some contested catches in. Now, they do lack talent at the wide receiver position. I will give them that. But guys like Jonathan Mingo are very good to break tackles in space. You have to get creative with that. When they paid the money to Frank Reich and they decide, and they decide for him to be the head coach, part of it was because they felt like he can help develop Bryce Young. Right now, run the system that they're running, it's not going to help develop anything. Matter of fact, it's only hurt Bryce Young. So, another thing as well, before I let you guys go, get Bryce Young going in open space and get him going in the open field. He had a big run against New Orleans Saints. He is very mobile. Stop calling the same place and just make him a pure pocket passer. He has good athleticism and mobility to get outside the pocket and can make some plays. Get the offensive line sliding one way and get them going in some play action bootlegs in certain situations. If you do want to just have some short intermediate Routes is ways you can go around it. You can do some play action bootlegs. You can do some things to where you can have a slant on the back end and you can have the running back in front of him just in case things go haywire. And you can also get the fullback involved as well. Just be more creative. A lack of talent at the wide receiver position is not an excuse to just go out there and basically just come out with a plain vanilla offense. But let me know in the comment section below, how do you feel about the Carolina Panthers offense and will they be able to fix this thing? And should Thomas Brown be able to call plays for the rest of the season. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. If you like the video, hit the like button. Most importantly, want each and every last guy to stay safe, stay positive. Thanks for watching the video, guys. Peace.